All right, what are we doing today? Okay, today, or tonight, I should say, I am baking bunny carrot cakes for all the homeless bunnies at the animal shelter. And I'm gonna surprise them with the carrot cakes tomorrow. Oh. And I got this, it's like the cutest detail ever at the 99 cent store. It's like these little, I don't know, like, what are they called? Cupcake holders. Cupcake holders with <laughs> with these little, I don't know, toothpicks. Toothpicks, with yeah. With carrots on them. That's what you I call think it. the bunnies will appreciate the detail. Yeah. I don't have one of those, what, it, what are those called? Where it like powders the stuff? I food processor? Food processor. But I have a blender. So if I just put this stuff in the blender, will it like powder it or do I need to put like liquid in there? I'd say put a little bit of water. Yeah, a, li just a little bit of water. A little water. Yeah. A little bit of oats. Some. Oh, she thinks it's for her. Look at her. <laughs> it's not That's for good. you, babe. Oh, look at all these beautiful layers, you guys. See these different colors? Ew, like this is like a smoothie that like rabbits would drink. Like this is like a, this is like their acai bowl. You know what I mean? Literally is. Oh, that's nasty. It smells gross. I mean, Lennon, you want to try it? Lennon, you want a treat? Come try the smoothie. Come try the smoothie. Come try the smoothie. Oh my god, Lennon. Oh my god. You're so cute. Do you like it? Do you like it? Oh, oh my god. This is great. A few moments later. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. I feel like even Lennon is going to love these. Like, honestly, I kind of want to eat it. It looks... Do it. No, I can't. <laughs> I'm not that for, desperate. For the fans, do it. Really? <laughs> I'm like eating hay. What's it taste like? I am like alert. I'm very allergic to grass. Oh. <laughs> see if the pellets have grass. Do I need like an EpiPen? You like it? I like that. That's really not bad. <laughs> no, I'm serious, because it's got the oats. <laughs> you guys are like, this <laughs> is crazy. I mean, to each their own. <laughs> Okay, so unfortunately I discovered the next morning that my baking experiment failed miserably. The cupcake batter stuck onto the liners and the cupcakes just fell apart. I didn't want them to go to total waste, so I kind of cut up little pieces and garnished them, but I'll be honest with you, I wasn't satisfied with this being my gift to the bunnies, so I decided to make a pit stop at a bodega on my way to the shelter and picked up some juicy apples for the buns. So I have to tell you, we have a group text with the volunteers that do this room. And when I told them that you were coming, it was like fanfare. We're just super stoked that you're back. Thanks, and so I grateful. love coming back. I mean, it's a game changer for all these guys. You know, we noticed after the last time you visited, not only did donations just flood in for these shelter bunnies, but I noticed an uptick in adoptions. I saw more people walking through this room and adopting than we have ever seen in January and February, which is notoriously a very low time for adoptions post-holiday. So we're really grateful for your visit because honestly, more than stuff, we just want more people to be adopting. Oh, wow. You like it? I'm so honored. I'm honored, babe. I'm so flattered that you like my recipe. One of the great things that we've been working on with the volunteers now that we're finally in a big room is setting up a model 
of what humane indoor rabbit housing looks like. Because one of the bummers is that if people come in and they see all these cages, and they go to the pet store and they're looking for like, what should I put my rabbit in? They're gonna buy a tiny little cage, like a guinea pig cage over there, and put their rabbit in it if they haven't had the education. Even though the, ra the rabbits are kept in cages here, we wanna just like offer a model and hope that when a potential adopter comes in, they'll see it. I mean, that's great. We finally got these care sheets approved and now each adopter is supposed to be getting a care sheet at least. But we volunteers would love to blow these up and put them as posters on these ugly walls so that people can actually stand in front of them and read about how to care for their bunny. So that's a project dream we have on the table and we're just trying to raise the money to print eight posters to paper our walls with for care information. How much does it cost? It's $240. Okay, so let's so do, not much. Let's do a go, let's do a GoFundMe and link it down below. And then what else do you guys need? Chew toys, enrichment. I mean, chew toys is their only joy. That's all they have to do here. They can't run around, but at least if they have something to chew on and they go through that stuff really quickly. So yeah. thank you for your contributions because honestly, we really noticed after you posted the video, so much good stuff for the buns came in. So we'll do GoFundMe and I'll link your Amazon list below. So a lot of people don't know that bananas are a rabbit's favorite treat, which is the reason I used that in the last video. But what a lot of people don't know is that apples come very close in second place. So that's what we're gonna try today in conjunction with these uh, pseudo carrot cakes that I attempted to bake. No idea if they're gonna like them. Have they ever had apple? Not that I know of. 